Mental health is a widely known, discussed topic all around the world, talking about your emotional, psychological, and social well-being of your daily life. Now, people take medication to balance their hormones when it comes to the off-balance of the brain. But I believe your brain itself is the most powerful medication. You have no idea how strong and capable your brain is until you start understanding it yourself. And how do you do that? by reading self-help books. And trust me, I'm not just saying this out of the blue. I had to experience it myself. Me personally, I was never someone severely depressed where I had to take medication. But it also didn't mean I had to be in order to come across these books. And if you stick around for the video, I'm going to explain every single book, how it changed me, what it does for you, and how you can implement it in your daily life in the long run. So I hope you stick around to the end because these books are absolutely amazing and I want each and every one of you to try at least read one of these books and we can talk about it because I love the discussion that I'm about to talk about in this video. Enjoy. The best thing I've ever done was actually read books and I made a YouTube video on it on my parkour channel. I probably should have a better thumbnail, but I talked about the three books that really helped me better my mental health, better my overall way of life. The first book called The Power of Now. This book really has awakened me in a way where I have never felt so present in my life. I read this 2020. I wasn't feeling like any sort of depression, but it was it was something I didn't know I needed. If that makes sense. Until I found it. And my my friend recommended this to me. I, I was like, oh yeah, sure. Okay, I'll get it. Like, I, I you know, whatever. And if we, if we know about what being present is, it's understanding and being still and looking at the details of life, especially in nature. That one really like took me home with it. And the first time I have ever realized what being present is, is when I was walking my dog. So I was walking him and he was just like a puppy, sniffing, looking at life, looking at, looking at everything possible, you know, like e everything is so like amazing and so beautiful. So we always walk by this like fence, covered in vegetation and I think it has like little kumquats on it and I think when I started walking past it this time after reading the book for somehow my brain just clicked and saw the ultimate detail of this plant that's covering this fence and I think I stopped walking at a moment and I, I like pretend this is like the leaf and I'm just like like I felt like it's like being high without being high <laughs> Does that make sense? And I'm just like looking at it and I'm like, bro, do you see this plant? Like, look at the detail on it. And that's what being present is. It's being high without being high, right? I mean, that, I don't know how else to explain it. Like you, your, your peripheral and your, your depth perception expands so far. It's just like, like, it's too much to process, but in a good way. So this is what this book did to me. The the power of now, and I would definitely read it again. Everyone should read it. Everybody should read this book. But now we're on to the next book, A New Earth. This one is kind of like an extension. So after you read The Power of Now and you understand what being present is all about, you, you go to this book. It's called A New Earth. And A New Earth, Awakening Your Life's Purpose. And this was actually Oprah's recommended books. Um, I, I didn't read it because it was Oprah's recommended book, but I'm just saying like a person of high A-list class like her promoted this book with full confidence. And this one, basically what it does, it helps you understand what your ego is and how to destroy it, what your pride is and how to destroy it, because that's not it's not needed in this world because that's how commotions happen. Ego is really big and people's heads are way above the clouds. And if we can talk as big as like people just wanting land, right? Even in politics, even in things like that. But if we're talking small, like, you know, on, on a day to day thing where like your ego or your pride comes in, it's just like, you know, live and let live is what they say. So I definitely recommend After the Power of Now to read this book. Um, it's just an extra thing to know. And then finally, the last one, Becoming Supernatural. When I tell you guys I started journaling every day and meditating every day because of this book, I'm, I won't, I'm not kidding. And I'll put them in the Discord, don't worry. If the power of now directed me to be on this present level, this book itself where 
it actually helps you understand how to get to the pineal gland in the mind to actually manifest and live as if like you have already reached your goal in a way. It's kind of like, but it's not like a fake it till you make it situation where you are living the life that you intend to live in, I would say, but in a way of not lying to yourself, talking like realistically, like you manifest like this is what I want and then you work towards it no matter what. And kind of like what I said before about this this channel where like I really want this channel to work and it'd be amazing if it did the possibilities of where it could go uh, in my mind is endless and so this book this book got me to meditate and write on journal write in journals every write in my journal every single day and about, I'm about to finish my second journal I need two more pages yeah I need I need this page left and then I finish my second journal the world is yours you could write whatever you want in it this book he backs it up with science he backs it up of how the mind works he backs it up with stories and, and his own experiences I finished this one and now i'm reading breaking the habit of being yourself which is also like a separate uh a separate book but by him but it kind of means the same thing it essentially talks about like the higher depth explanation of this book but you know i'm i'm already in too deep i gotta do it i have uh atomic habits next and then i have uh the subtle art of not giving a fuck and then i have my friend bought me this one's called the power of the subconscious mind i got a list i got a list of books but yeah essentially these are these are the top three when i tell you being present is a is a really big gift in life jeez man like the world is yours. You kind of appreciate how how life goes. I'm going to go ahead and continue this podcast and we'll see what what tangent I run off to next.